The Caddy interface is an in-canvas interface that contains dynamic labels and a set of buttons that are superimposed on the viewport. The Caddy replaces many dialog boxes that are no longer available. The Caddy interface is primarily used for editing editable poly objects to manipulate the settings for the editable poly tools. However, the Caddy interface can be used in manipulate mode for editing soft selection parameters. Working with caddies is straightforward and intuitive. Click on the Application button. Choose Open from the drop-down menu. In the Chapter 3 directory, you'll find the file named Chapter 3 caddy onemax Select the file. Then click the Open button to open it. This opens a very simple house we're going to use to demonstrate some of the features of the Caddy interface. In the Perspective viewport, click on the building to select it. Open the Modify panel. You'll notice that this building is already an editable poly object. For this lesson, we're going to access the sub-object level using the graphite modeling tools. That way you can get a bit of a feel for how the graphite modeling tools work when editing polygon objects. On the Graphite Modeling ribbon, click on the Graphite Modeling Tools tab, click on the Polygon sub-object, and click off into space in the Perspective view to deselect any currently selected polygons. In the Perspective view, click on the polygon facing us on the side of the building. From the Graphite Modeling Tools ribbon, Polygon Selection, Click the down arrow for the Inset Polygon option and select the Inset Settings option from the drop-down list. What you'll see in the Perspective viewport is the Caddy interface for the Inset Polygon tool. If you want to move the Caddy around to get it out of the way, click on the dark gray title box of the Caddy and drag it around the viewport. This allows you to locate the Caddy out of the way while you're working on the model. The Caddy consists of a set of interface options that vary with each of the polygon editing tools. When you use a bevel, for instance, it will contain different parameter options than the inset we're now using. In order to change a value, you can click and drag on the horizontal spinners in the value box, or you can type in a value using the keyboard. Let's type in one foot and press return. Underneath the parameter entries are three options, a green check mark, a green plus, and a red X. The check mark will accept the current parameter's entries and apply the tool and close the Caddy interface. Go ahead and click on the check mark to accept the parameters and close the Caddy. In the Graphite Modeling Tools Polygon section, click the down arrow next to the Bevel option. From the drop-down list, choose Bevel Settings. This will bring up the caddy for the Bevel Polygon option. In the Height entry, type in one foot and press Enter. And in the Outline entry, type in zero and press Enter. Instead of clicking the checkbox, we want to apply the current parameters and continue with the editing process. To do this, Click the green plus button in the middle. In the height parameters, set the value to 0. And in the outline parameters, set the value to negative 1 foot. Then press the plus button once again to accept the parameters and continue editing. However, at this point you may decide you've completed your editing and you want to close the caddy. To do this, click the red X. This will close the Caddy and only keep the last accepted edit. Now you've learned how to use the Caddy interface. As you can see, it provides for an easy way to edit your polygon object while maintaining a clean, usable interface.